Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example will lead us to a slightly different approach. We could use the very same approach, again, find the lowest common denominator. And by the way, in this case, the lowest common denominator is going to be the product of these two denominators. So it would be x plus 3 times x minus 5. And then, of course, we could multiply both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. However, what we could also do is employ this technique. If we have two fractions set equal to each other, a over b equals c over d, we can move any term across the diagonal like this. In other words, we can say that this is equal to a times d equal to b times c. So simply, a times d, b times c, and set equal to each other. So we can use the same technique over here. We can move the x minus 5 over here and write this as 4 times x minus 5 is equal to 6 times x plus 3. Of course, we would get exactly the same result if we simply multiplied both sides of the equation by the lowest common denominator. It's just simple and easier to do it like this. Now we need to multiply, so we get rid of the parentheses, 4x minus 20 equals 6x plus 18. We now move all the terms with the x to one side, all the numbers to the other side. 4x minus 6x is equal to 18 plus 20. Notice that negative 20 becomes positive 20. The positive 6x becomes a negative 6x. Minus 2x equals 38. Divide both sides by a negative 2. And then you can see that that cancels out, and we're left with x equals negative 19 as the solution. But, of course, we should check to see if it's correct. Let's do a check. We're going to plug that value into our original equation. So 4 divided by minus 19 plus 3. Is that equal to 6 divided by minus 19 minus 5? All right, minus 19 plus 3 is minus 16, so 4 divided by minus 16. Is that equal to question mark? 6 divided by negative 24. 4 sixteenths is 1 fourth, so negative 1 4. Is that equal to question mark? That goes into 24 1 fourth times, so negative 1 fourth. And sure enough, you can see that the left side does equal the right side if we plug in x equals negative 19, and that is how it's done.